Greetings, YouTubers. This is Efren with EQE3 Enterprises coming at you with yet another exciting episode of Weekly Startup and Small Business Roundup. This week, I'm spotlighting a tech small business, a tech startup, and a tech startup aimed at dogs. All right, <clears throat> start off. We have Redstone Technologies, http colon slash slash redstone.us.com, R-E-D-S-T-O-N-E. It says, who we are. <clears throat> Founded in late 2008 with a small team of industry veterans, Redstone Technologies LLC is a private company focused on developing one of the most significant technical advancements in the history of electronic, of electro electronic communications, a new wireless architecture that allows for ubiquitous gigabit connectivity. Over the past five years, Redstone team has worked to create just the right set of circumstances to bring this technology to the global marketplace. Now we are preparing to publicly unveil this technology and showcase world-changing wireless communications. That'd be nice. That'd be really nice. That might translate into, you know, internet speeds too. DSLs, internet speeds, cable speeds, even better than that. Uh, what is Redstone technology? Redstone mobile gigabit technology is based on our physical layer breakthrough, a new harmony, quote-unquote harmony, of the fundamental physical properties of digital signaling. Our breakthrough technology closes a wide efficiency gap in all communications systems and achieves mobile gigabit speeds at lower power. Very nice. Uh, greater distance and smaller size of equipment and devices. It is a very low cost and rapidly deployable solution. Cool. How does Redstone technology work? Well, Redstone physical layer technology is signaling technology discovery and advancement affecting the efi efficiency of how ones and zeros are transmitted across various transmission media, copper cable, fiber, air, etc. Redstone technology addresses the fundamental physics of the transmitted signal modulation and how eff eff effectively the signal is detected on the receiving end demodulation. That's where you got the name modem. Modulation, demodulation, modem. <laughs> I'm so old I remember that, or I knew that. Uh, in the presence of interference and noise over long distances. <clears throat> huh. So line noise is probably not going to be an issue anymore according to this. So what is so special about Redstone mobile gigabit technology? Redstone engineers made discoveries at the physical level of chip technology that allows its wireless chips technology to perform much closer to the theoretical limits of chip performance than any other wireless technology that is available today. Uh, the Red, uh, our technology, the Redstone PHY engine, trademarked, is a physical layer wireless technology that provides ubiquitous gigabit connectivity everywhere. It enables micro-size equipment that delivers dedicated symmetrical 250 megabits per second per port, densely stackable to any amount of bandwidth needed. Redstone's proprietary gigabit technology is a very low-cost technology, de decades ahead of current wireless technology. Our solution is extremely easy to, de to deploy quickly to deploy quickly and to anywhere it is needed. These these capabilities along with our long-term technology roadmap future proof it for decades to come. I think what they're saying is they might have cellular and wireless access to places where there isn't any right now. That's cool. Uh, at Redstone we are passionate about three things this is what drives them. Bringing gigabit connectivity to the entire world in a very low cost and rapidly deployable manner. Enabling irres irresistible communications experiences that are more human and natural. Listening to the, the quote-unquote crowd and letting people democratize a new gigabyte internet. Hmm. Right now there haven't, hasn't been launched or deployed yet, but they're getting close apparently. It says Redstone is working on several key initiatives with, with a variety of partners and organizations to bring a complete solution to market that will enable a smooth transition to a new wireless gigabit paradigm. They have an early adopter partner program. So they have a gigabyte a gigabit showcase is designed to demonstrate our wireless gigabit connectivity and live streaming of ultra HD content on a four on four K screens and tablets in the spring of two thousand fourteen. Looking forward to seeing that. It's an invite only event. It's designed for partners, product and application developers, and investors. Maybe they'll put a video online. Hopefully. And they have a developer program as well. Develop product and applications development for their partners. Provides Head Start access to developers. 
and the Global Gigabyte Alliance, G GGA, launching in January 2014, it's already launched apparently, provides a robust platform of information, training tools, and interactive community. The GGA supports industry migration to wireless gigabit technology over the next several years. Nice. <laughs> Things to come. Looking forward to it. I bet you, you high-end high gamers will be looking forward to that too, be able to stream 4, 4K easily. 4K in a 4K video, that'd be great. And the Gigabit Experience opens May 2016. This expo is the ultimate showcase for our seven early adopter partners. On this platform, select ecosystem partners and our Gigabit developer community debut their integrated product and products and services on our ubiquitous Gigabit network. Okay, so it's not quite de deployed yet, but it seems to be getting there. So it's something to look forward to, something to very look forward to, because you know, speed, the internet speed seems to have stalled and become a little bit stagnant. I think my personal opinion. So that'd be something to look forward to somewhere down the road. At least we know it's possible. Okay. All right, next company is called Tile, T-I-L-E, H-T-T-P colon slash slash www.thetileapp.com, T-H-E-T-I-L-E-A-P-P.com. Tile, the world's largest lost and found. It says, small and sleek, tiles go everywhere you do. Just attach, stick, or drop your tile into any item you might lose. Laptops, wallets, uh, keys, guitars, bikes, you name it, then, then get on with the fun. Keeping track of stuff on the go. The tile app on your phone makes it easy and fun to find your tiles anywhere, anytime. Basically, what it is, these little, little tiny square, rather thin tile thingies that are that you attach to whatever you know. It's, I guess it's a GPS thing or something to that effect. So if you lose something, you can find it. The only problem is if you stick one to your laptop and someone finds it, and they want to keep the laptop. They can just peel it off and throw it away, and you'll find the tile, but not the laptop. Unless they come out with one that can install under the battery or inside somewhere. It might be something that'd be something for them to think about or in integrated for electronics, like your phone, for instance. Though uh, you can have a backup of your phone. If they take the battery out of your phone, it might be something integrated inside the phone that'll still let you be able to find it. So that might be something for them to think about. It says uh, more is better. Use tile on as many things as you want. Add up to eight tiles tiles on an account. Okay, so there's a limit how many tiles. Uh, share with people you trust. Coming soon. Oh, I don't know about that. You can share access to tiles with friends, family, and trusted co-workers. I guess you have like a backup access in case you happen to lose your phone and the item the tile is attached to. You know, if someone has an access it. Of course, you could probably redo it on another phone or access it online, I'm sure. So take that, couch cushions. <laughs> couch cushions, yeah. Uh, tiles will play you a melody if triggered. If you can hear it, you can find it. Yeah, I've done that with the phone. You hit a button on the phone base, and the cordless phone will beep sometimes. It's hard, still hard to find the phone. It says, the last place seen. The app remembers where it last saw your tile, so you can easily find it right where you left it. And uh, Chris Perillo, on his one of his vlogs, he showed him a little bit. And I'll put a link to that, that particular vlog in the links to this channel. I think it was his... His last vlog, or second to last vlog, I'll have to look it up, but I'll put a link so you can actually see, kind of see it in action, sort of. He gives it a little bit rundown. They, apparently, he uh, invested in the startup, because he got his already, so. Let me see. Uh, iOS 7 compatible. Works with iPhones, 4S, and newer iPad mini, iPad 3rd gen and newer, and iPad touch, 5th gen and newer. Says so you're getting warmer. You see, you, you can see yourself getting closer and farther away, further away from the tile when it's within 50 to 150 foot range. You know, okay. be, be nice to have one of those things like in uh, Aliens, where it shows all the little the things of the aliens coming at you, and little bleep bleep, and shows how close they're getting to you. <laughs> and the tile has a built-in speaker, so you can hear it when you get close. Oh, and uh, you don't have to charge it up or change battery or anything. It, it works for a, an entire year. After that, you'd have to buy another one, basically a one-time use battery. They'll remind you when it's time to order new tiles and send you an envelope to recycle your old ones. That's good. Right where you left it, the, the tile app saves the last GPS location that it saw your tile. Yeah, it's GPS. Sorry, it's a little warm out here. <laughs> At this time, Android does not support Bluetooth. It says, uh, it did not support on Android, because Android at this time does not support Bluetooth 4.0. It said a few Android phone manufacturers have released BLE SDKs, however, they are lacking in quality and stability. At Tile, the quality of our products is of utmost importance, and until there exists an Android platform that meets our quality standards, we will not be releasing a Tile app for Android. Wow. Understandable. 
easy to use, waterproof, much thinner, I guess. The latest and greatest, once you get the latest and greatest tiles, they may have upgrades in them that you'll get eventually, too. Maybe better distances, or you could add more to your app, whatever. Uh, that's about it. That's kind of a cool idea. Need some work, though. Like I said, they might be able to integrate it inside of a laptop, because, you know, if it's attached to something, people can peel it off. But Like Chris did, he dropped it in uh, Diana's purse, so if she lost her purse, he'd be able to find it, but... Of course, if someone steals a person, they happen to find that little thing, if they knew what it was. Or if they don't, they might throw it away, they might not see a use for it. So, that's an integrator sewn inside or something, you know. I'm, sh I'm sure they'll, I'm sure they're working on something like that. Or there's, I think some laptops have that built-in capability. If you lost your laptop, they can find it for you. Kind of like that, uh, what's that program they used to have? Lojack, I think it was called, where you can find your car if it gets stolen. They might, I think they have that for some higher-end laptops. But don't quote me on that. Okay, the third uh, startup. Our third business I'm doing here is a startup, tech startup, that focuses on dogs it's called Fitbark. HTTP colon slash slash www.fitbark.com. F-I-T-B-A-R-K.com. <laughs> Excuse me. Pardon me again. It's basically a little bone-shaped thing that hooks onto their collar, and you can monitor their every move 24-7. It's I bark, fits dogs and collars of any size, seamlessly track her every move. Her, they, they refer to dogs as her. I happen to have a female dog, but not all of them are, I guess. I mean, I guess. Yeah, they do, I know they do that with cats sometimes, too. They call them her. Anyway. Uh, take action. Leverage key insights into her health and behavior. This is the Fit Bark Experience. It's, oops, <laughs> slide down. It's all about your dog from head to tail. Understand her health. Dogs can't talk and don't carry a smartphone. Fit Bark is a tiny s smart activity monitor. That helps you understand your dog's health and behavior in a way that was never available before. Unless you're going to follow around and watch her, I guess. Uh, activity progress. Monitor her progress and take action as appropriate. How is she feeling? How many activity bark points is she getting today? How are things trending in the past few hours, days, month? I guess if her activity drops, you might be something wrong with her. I don't know if it monitors vitals, but that would be a good idea for a later version. Of course, most people don't know what the vitals of dogs are. And yes, you can do a dog's blood pressure, I found out. I actually heard they put the cuff on the dog's tail. It'd be a little uncomfortable. You'd think the dog would panic a little and it'd go up. But anyway, they had a, f a way to figure that one out. Because they can tell, you know, they can put a thing on your finger that monitors your, your blood oxygen. I don't think they can do that with dogs. But anyway, it'd be something for a later f version that can, you know, monitor pulse and stuff. Uh, how is she reacting to life changing events? Time breakdown. Oops. How things are trending in the past few hours, days, months. How she's reacting to life, t life changing events. Uh, time breakdown. Understand what kind of day she's having, monitoring the time she spends at various energy levels. If she's getting five extra hours of sleep, maybe that's because she's starting to feel sick. Mm -hmm. Or she's tired. Now, similar dogs. Fitbark gives you breed-specific guidelines so you can see where she stands compared to the other dogs. Of course, if you got a Heinz 57 Mutt, I don't know how good that's going to do you, but they probably have a thing for that too, I'm sure. It's a general. You know, you're within a certain range, I guess. Uh, where she stands compared to other dogs. Is she, is she really as active as you think she is? Is she getting more rest than, than other dogs? Well, my dog's around 12, so she doesn't get as much exercise as other dogs, so I don't know, I don't know how useful this would be because I'm always, if she goes outside, I'm always with her, so I can always kind of monitor her. But it'd be good if I was gone somewhere, I can keep an eye on things too, I guess. Because mom and dad don't pay much attention to that kind of stuff, so. Uh, she's getting more rest than other dogs. And vet slash trainer. Sh share her activity report. Communication is key for making informed decisions. No more guessing when you're asked how she's been doing the past 24 hours, 7 days, or 3 months. Quantify how well she is recovering from sickness or surgery. Dog versus human. They say that dogs look like their owners. <laughs> yeah, she's better. She's a lot better looking than I am. They say that dogs look like their owners. Now there's... Now's the time to prove that they are at least as active as their owners. We, we receive input from your human fitness tracker if it has an open API. Oh, that's interesting. Of course, if you go jogging and she's, your dog's too old, you know, I guess that'd be pointless anyway. Uh, stay connected. Let's be honest. Dogs are like kids. It's only natural that you want to be in touch with your dog at all times, so why not do it from your smartphone? You can check on your dog. Look for the pulsating line in the center dial to understand what she's up to. Is she lazing around or is she getting her playtime? Of course, if you're the only one human in the house and the only owner, you pretty much know that already. But. Of course, that'd be good if you had to board them. If I had to go somewhere and I had to board my dog, I'd be able to keep an eye on that, too. 
you know, not, and, and not just, uh, you know, accept what they tell me they were doing. I could actually see if they're, and I can't imagine they would lie, but I guess if they forgot to take her out for an exercise session, I guess that's not a huge deal, but you'd still be able to tell. Uh, real-time updates. We see real-time updates through another authorized smartphone or a Fitbark base station. It sits on the desk and get that. I don't know why you'd want the base station. I guess if you're, I don't know why you'd want it. Plus it has a specific range. I guess we can find out soon here. If you, if you place a base station next to your dog or dogs, you won't have to wait hours or days to get an update. Okay. Time together. Track the time family members and caretakers spend with her and get the credit you deserve for helping her get her to walk or playtime. Okay. Notifications. Receive an alert if she's far from reaching her goal or if today's pattern looks quite different from her baseline. Of course, we also send you a notification when she earns her daily or weekly trophies. Okay. Uh, keep everyone in the loop. Got a family messenger. Uh, you know, who's taking her to the park tomorrow? Who's buying her that new collar? How did the visit to the vet go? Uh, to do, you can create a to-do list. Keep a journal. They support we, uh, Facebook and Twitter, so you can share how 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 great it is to have a dog. You know, okay. not to do with the product itself. But. See the sensor is a three-axis accelerometer, so it knows when she's moving or laying down. It doesn't check her uh, vitals. Battery is a lithium-ion polymer. Battery life is seven days, so I'm guessing it's rechargeable. Waterproof design. iOS and Android compatibility. Bluetooth 4.0 and BLE devices. Works works worldwide without any monthly fees. Oh, that's good. You don't have to be too close. Um, Fitbark Wi-Fi base station. If you'd like to receive real-time updates when your dog is not with you or within the range of another authorized smartphone, I guess there is a range, okay. It doesn't have like a wireless internet connection in it. Maybe that'll be a later update that'll do that. So you won't have to have the Bark station. Uh, if you'd like to receive real-time range or another smartphone, place a Fitbark Wi-Fi base station next to her. The, Fit the Fitbark Wi-Fi base station seamlessly synchronizes multiple dogs nearby, uploading information to our web server through a wireless router. Okay, so it's basically a standalone router. Maybe someday they'll have one that'll actually fit on the collars and then buy an extra thing. But that's still a good thing to have if your dog's home alone for long periods. And sometimes mine is if I have to if I have to go out or go somewhere for several hours and no one's home to keep an eye on. I can keep an eye on her if I wanted to. And she's getting older, it might not be a bad idea, but who knows when I'll ever get another dog, so that he might sit there and collect dust after she's gone too. So But it's still a good idea for those uh pet owners who really, really, really want to keep an eye on things. I think having one that has the capability to, to monitor vitals, because like a human, when you're jogging, you have that thing that goes around, kind of goes around your chest, under your arms, and monitors your heartbeat and stuff like that. Might not be a bad idea to have a wireless one like that for dogs, too. I don't know how they could check her blood oxygen or how much that matters to most owners, but because we're at 6,800 feet and she doesn't seem to have any problems breathing, so... But that's about it for the three businesses that I've got this week. Hopefully get it uploaded this week. I did my Jiva Cube unboxing and review yesterday. That's uploading as we speak. It's going to take forever. My internet sucks up here. But anyway, hopefully get this uploaded tonight or tomorrow. So until then, thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing, commenting this on this channel. Thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you didn't. Remember, I accept all constructive criticism, but I don't acknowledge trolls. Thank you.